Hi, I'm going to take you on a little journey through a concertina sketchbook from the first lockdown. It was my second lockdown sketchbook and I decided the whole thing should be in ink, so I started off with a drawing of a quill pen that I did use for some of these sketches. Others were drawn with a dip pen and mostly using Indian ink with a little bit of this lovely Sennelier walnut brown ink that has this kind of lovely nutty tone. I did a lot of life drawing in that lockdown. Um, I've always relied really heavily on the life drawing class, both for community and for an opportunity for regular drawing practice. And so losing that um, with the closure of all of the in-person classes was really isolating. But then finding a new community of life models and artists online um, was a real saving grace. There's loads of creativity in those classes, so this is of um, my friend Naomi Wood, who's a writer and an aerialist, and I included one of her poems, Escape, alongside it, just for a little bit of context. They were all really playful one-minute drawings in a dip pen, something really loose and light. Um, This drawing here never really happened, it was the start of a sketch on the wall outside my house, Um, but I have been reading a lot more poetry in lockdown, I've found a lot of solace in it, so I included Stopping by Woods on a Snowy Evening, which is one of my favourite Robert Frost poems, with a kind of inverted image of the moon, an inky blot in the corner, which I was looking at as we drew. Um, here on one of the sunnier days, uh, Scarlett, my partner, um, sitting out with her feet up in the sun with a sun hat on, I quickly dashed down a slightly blurred portrait. Um, portrait drawing was another thing that um, really kind of uh, got me through lockdown. So we started this online portrait club. And the first rule of portrait club is everyone has to pose for portrait clubs. So we do all of these quick eight to ten minute drawings of one another. Um, obviously, these are all inky ones playing around with different ways of putting water down on the page and then drawing with Indian ink into that water to see how it bleeds and runs, letting it dry for different amounts of time and not putting too much pressure on yourself to make anything really finished. It was a lovely opportunity to chat to people and probably the only opportunity to meet new people that I found. It was also really wonderful to be able to connect with friends from all around the country and all around the world um, through all of the online sessions. So this is of my friend Dana who's up in Scotland. Um, Normally wouldn't be able to draw her because I'm all the way down in Wales but the life drawing sessions online gave a great opportunity. And the same with Francois, who's over in in London. Uh, So this is just a really playful, inky sketchbook, life drawings, portraits, and some lockdown memories.